Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my videos. Now by the title of this video, you guys already know that we're going to be taking this seat to its first ever car meet. Now I wouldn't really call it a car show because this is more like a cars and coffee. So I do plan on getting some coffee because it is currently 6.30 a.m. Me and the boys agreed that we were gonna meet up at a Target parking lot at 6.30. There's only one of us there right now. The rest of us are getting our scars clean. What I wanna do to this is really quick before we go is I wanna give it a waterless car wash. It rained last night and there's a lot of little water beads just sitting on the car, so. I also wanna go ahead and put some tire dressing on the tires. I want to make these bad boys pop and I'm not going to go crazy with the wheels but I am going to go ahead and wipe the brake dust away with a microfiber towel. Pretty excited, you know, I just plan on having a little fun today. Your boy spends a lot of time working so this is the first time that a car event lands on a Sunday so I've been missing out a lot on car shows, car events so now that we got the seat back hopefully I can make it to at least one event this year. Let's give this bad boy a quick wash. I have this waterless wash from mcguire's i am also going to be using this chemical guys waterless car wash so these are the two products i'm going to use to go ahead and wipe down the entire car and then for my tire dressing i'm going to be using brp from chemical guys this thing works amazing and i plan on putting two coats of this but i plan on letting the first coat dry before i apply a second coat even though the car may look nice and clean it's not so let's give it a quick wash and clean. We also went ahead and added an air to one of the rear tires. For some reason it was a little low. But right now we're gonna go meet up with the rest of the boys and then from there we're gonna head to the cars and coffee. So let's roll out. Pretty early but there's already a lot of cars here. I parked the seat somewhere over there. There's some more cars over there right now. We're just gonna rock around, check some cars out, see which ones we like, which ones we don't like, so stay posted. Now, I'm a big Skyline boy, so when I saw this, I started fangirling. And this car actually has a couple accents that make it stand out a little more, which are gonna be that Nismo steering wheel. And then these Nismo wheels. I'm not a big fan of this zigzag wheel, but I would eventually like to have a pair of my own Nismo wheels. So maybe in the future I'll be able to get some for the Z, but I was just checking and admiring the skyline. Bro, this is crazy, bro. I was about to start walking towards yeah. that way, but there's this R35 that caught my attention. I really like the old black. I'm just a big fan of it. We got black wheels. Would have been nice to keep the tail lights a little black, like he does have it right there, but for some reason the rest don't look exactly the same. Me and Asia need that plate. Very in love with the burnt tips. I think that is the way to go with all exhaust. This right here is gonna be the lineup for today. Kevin, Omar, Alejandro, me and my brother. This is where we park. Skyline TV. Adios amigo. A very nice car with a very nice plate. I can't wait to get a custom plate. For some reason, I thought this was the old gen Skyline, but it's not. But now that we're checking it out, I can't wait to get a roll cage like this in the Suvi. Now, I don't think this is actually welded onto the car. I think it's just bolted on, but eventually one day we're gonna have something like this. But... Look at the window. Nice little blow up. Oh, what? Well, I just noticed that. That is pretty cool. Very nice GT3 RS. 
the carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber top. My man's even got his helmet in the back, so you already know he takes this to the track. Yeah, there's something about Michelin tires that I just been seeing a lot lately and they've been catching my attention. I got them on the Z, but I don't got them on the Subi, but I do plan on eventually getting them on there. Also, really like the blue on this car. I think that is one of the most beautiful blues out here. Just notice that the spoiler is also carbon fiber, along with the mirror caps. You see, this is the way to go. Carbon fiber and white. May, if you're watching this, this would probably be you. Little Genesis over here. I think Genesis are so beautiful. I don't know why, but they are just so aggressive looking. We were about to ignore this spot right here and keep walking. But I thought that was a Miata and it's not. It's an FD. See what he is, babe. And I was able to tell because of its calipers. So if it wasn't for that, I would have thought this was for sure a Miata. This is a very nice car. I really wish it would be on for us right now so that we could hear it go ra 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 It's not gonna happen in day. <laughs> Do you know where that's from? Yeah. For real? Rada 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 rada. Very nice GT over here. I really like these cars guys. I hope one day I get to own something like this But every time I come across a GT, I just gotta admire it and This is very nice. Imagine doing a burnout in this. Imagine doing a donut in this These cars are like a burnout machine. So Maybe one day I'll get the chance to be able to rip one of these but not today. All right, we're heading back to our parked cars. We just got done checking out all of the cars. This was a morning event, so everybody that was gonna be here already is here. So we're probably gonna head out. Again, May, if you're watching this, <laughs> this would be you. I walked right past this car twice, and I just noticed that it has a Legends band. For all my Justin William fans out there, I need to get one of those banners. Another one spotted. This one's very beautiful in the Nargo Gray. I really love how they went with the Nargo Gray and then the yellow. But I just wanted to show you guys. Even the seat balls are yellow. Check that out. Very nice. On our way back, this Viper pulled up. Important right there. That thing is beautiful. This thing is so beautiful. And look at those meaty ass tires. He got the R triple eights. Very nice setup. My man's got a whole lot to in there too. My boy pushing big boy numbers. Look at that e-brake bro, what the heck? I know people will probably sit on that. All right, we're back home from the show now. We also went ahead and stopped at PetSmart. I'll show you guys what we got in a bit. But now that we're home, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the garage and get it ready to start sanding down the Subi. Seeing all those nice cars was really cool. I saw a lot of blah vibes there, so seeing all of them there made me really happy because they brought back all of those memories of like having my car at a show like that. So. I guess you can say I'm a little motivated to try and get this car done, so. But this right here is Toby's new bling. We got him a Kong collar. A Kong harness. This is something that I've been wanting for him for the longest. And we also got this really cool retractable leash, so. We're gonna take this dude for a walk, and then once I take him for a walk, I'll come back and start working on the Subi, but that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am gonna try and keep uploading at least once a week, so. Look at how cute this dude looks. My boy got the matching collar with the matching vest. Peso! <laughs> and he's carrying his own poop bags. Okay, bye.